New at five, Oklahoma parents and lawmakers are calling for drastic changes to be made at the Oklahoma Department of Human Services. They claim DHS and the Oklahoma Commission for Children and Youth are withholding information on child abuse crimes. Fox 23's Devin Lyon joins us live in studio. Now, Devin, some lawmakers are now calling for an investigation into DHS. That's right. Both advocates and parents of children who've suffered abuse came before members of the state house today. They share their stories. They want big changes, saying children in Oklahoma are being abused and those departments are doing nothing. What we're talking about is human rights and civil rights violations. This is a system problem throughout state government. Manipulation of investigations and failure to involve law enforcement all demonstrate that DHS is failing children across the state. Parents and state lawmakers agreeing Monday that immediate action is needed when it comes to the Department of Human Services. It's because of how it's handling child abuse cases. We have ge gener generationally, systemically failed these children. Mandy Reed is with Oklahomans for Children's Rights. She was one of those there today saying DHS is not properly investigating every child abuse case filed. And the ones they do look into are not being done properly. Well, I have the statistical report from DHS from the state physical year of 2022. It runs July 2021 to July, June of 2022. There was 80,794 reports on families for abuse, and of those, only 33,000 were, were um, actually investigated. Fox 23 has brought you coverage before on Daryl Doherty out of Stillwater. He says his claims of child abuse were never heard despite having plenty of evidence. I knew I could not call Oklahoma DHS. That was not an option for me. After six years of filing reports and giving the department evidence, nothing happened. The case only needed DHS approval to be investigated, but it fell through when then DHS director Deborah Shopshire resigned in mid-August. Now he is saying DHS and OCCY are not only a ignoring child abuse claims, but also hiding information from investigators. The legal staff of Oklahoma DHS filed again in court that my child had made no disclosures of any kind of sexual abuse, physical abuse, or neglect in any of his cases, even though they sat in on a deposition and heard it. If their supervisors and their leaders are creating an environment where you can make more heinous crimes against the child from child welfare services and child protective services, then we are damaging these children worse than the original offenders. By the time the hearing was over, Humphrey said he wants the State Bureau of Investigation to investigate DHS, OCCY, and the Office of Juvenile Affairs. Right now, I'm working on an interview with Humphrey about why he thinks DHS officials are hiding the truth. I'll have that ready for you on Fox 23 News at 6. Live in studio, covering news that matters, Devin Lyon, Fox 23 News. We did reach out to DHS for a response. Here is part of their statement. Quote, Oklahoma Human Services is committed to protecting the safety and well-being of Oklahoma's children. Every child welfare case is different, and the specific details in those cases impact decisions made by the agency, the courts, district attorneys, and others who participate in any case.